So hello all and thanks for tuning in to PK Garden Services channel. Today we have a review of the WeBank WB537 SV Shaft Drive Professional Petrol Lawnmower. So I have this machine since last September. I purchased it from one of two WeBank dealers that had dealt with Douglas Forest and Garden in Cork City. So I'm thoroughly impressed with this machine. Now this video is not scripted or anything, I haven't done anything written down so you'll just have to bear with me as I talk as whatever comes to mind. So this machine is a 21 inch steel deck. It has a side discharge chute, as you can see, I bring you around. It has a side discharge chute, which I use regularly as you can see with the bungee cord for heavy grass. Metal rear deflector. Now that can bend, it has a tendency to bend, but there's a metal rear deflector and a 70 litre fabric mesh collection bag. So the machine is fitted with a high lift blade, I'll turn it on its side in a minute. It's fitted with a high lift blade, so between that and the Weebang, sorry, the Lanson 196cc engine, which is a 6.5 horsepower professional motor, with those two combined, there's very little this lawnmower won't cut. So we'll go up to the control panel here to the handlebar. So you have a, a three-speed shaft-driven professional gearbox. I won't move now because the machine's not turned on. This is your fastest gear number three, number two, and number one. This machine is it cuts fabulously. It, it looks very striking. Um, so it, it is a great machine. We just say we come back to the control panel here so we have that's your three speed gearbox this machine if i haven't already mentioned has a blade brake clutch a bbc system so basically what that is it enables you to run the blades independent of the engine and run the engine independent of the blade so you can drive the lawn more from areas of lawn to another area of lawn without um without having the blades running, which is very handy. It also means you can run the mower, and in between emptying the gas collector, the gas box, you can have the machine still running. There's no need to pull on your pull cart every time you empty the gas box. So, as I say, this machine has a 70 liter collection bag. It is quite dirty now. When these mowers are cleaned up there, they're really striking looking, they're beautiful machine. You have a bumper bar on the front, just to protect it there if you're driving up near walls and curbs and sleepers and things like that, the corner of a house, etc. So another feature on this machine is adjustable handles. As you can see, the handles are very easily loosened. So that's one. And this is number two. I'm doing this on a phone now, so look, the quality mightn't be the best, but it's a start for the channel anyway. So as you can see, the height is adjustable. It can be folded to fit the machine into a car or a small van, as I used to do myself. And the great thing is the handles barely come out past the, the length of the lawnmower. They come out just past the front axle there, as you can see. So what we'll do is we'll turn the machine on its side and we look at the deck and the blade. So we'll take off the gas collector. That's your 70 litre gas collector. We'll turn the machine on its side. This machine can be stored on its back when there's no fuel in this, uh, and also for maintenance and for storage. So we'll tip it over onto the right hand side. And we get a look at the deck. Now I'm not mechanically minded, but as far as, as I'm saying, the machine is shaft driven. It's driven by a shaft to the gearbox. It's not belt driven. So the main aim here that I've turned on its side is first look at the blade. So as you can see, it's got a high lift blade. So for those who don't know, basically a high lift blade enables you to cut very heavy wet grass without it clogging up. Now look, as a friend of mine always says, every machine has a limit. But I have pushed this machine to its limit and beyond, and I also have a red, um, a red domestic weebang with a 21 inch deck. It's also steel decked, and it has the Lanson 196. It's got a different gearbox, and it doesn't have a blade brake clutch. It's slightly less 
would say less well spec than this machine but then again they are a cheaper machine but getting back to this, this as we say this is the shaft drive so there's your wing on the blade so that, that enables your grass to be collected to be connected in wet conditions so that's winged on either side which enables with wet collection collection of wet grass so the deck is dirty these mowers are cleaned but not very regularly to be honest I cut in all withers so the machine does get dirty so we'll turn it back on its side or turn it back on all four wheels so So I just, just tighten up the handles there again. As I say, they're infinitely adjustable for any height of user or any, regardless of what length your arms are or what height you are. You will find a position with this machine to suit you, that'd be comfortable. So we put back on our collector here. Just put it back on. I'm doing this one handed now, so. And sits on like so so what we'll do we give the engine a couple of seconds just for the fluids to return to their normal position after having it turned on its side and what we'll do then we'll then proceed to start the machine so we just run through how to start this machine so the engine is currently cold this is your choke that's your run position this is your choke that's your run position and this is to turn the machine off as you can see it's indicated there and that's your choke there, down there. So you put it into choke, you pull the pull card, which you do in a couple of seconds, and she will start. You will then return her to the run position of the throttle. These machines generally start on the second or third pull. To be honest, a lot of them will start on the first pull. Just depends on whether it's cold or not, and if it's been sitting for a few days, um, which can happen with my machine from time to time. So what we do, we'll set up the machine. I, you probably won't be able to hear me over it, but well, I just run through actually another couple of the quick things. As I say, this is the blade clutch, uh, the BBC, the blade brake clutch lever. In order to engage this, you push it forward. You bring it back. Now there is a good bit of tension and a good bit of pressure there, so you release it by about an inch. You hear, I think you'll hear a slight click, and you bring it back. That's your blade brake clutch, BBC engaged. You let go and the blade cuts out. This is your drive lever here at the back as it is with our wee bang machines. So what we'll do, we'll start it up now. I'll give you an idea of the ground speed and I'll switch off the engine again and we'll take another look at it. So we'll start it up, put it into choke. Should start first pull. There we go. So I just gave a brief demonstration there of the drive speed, basically the ground speed of the wheels. So it is a very quick lawnmower. Um, for those of you who follow me on my socials, I'm sorry, no, I can't switch the camera around on this particular model of phone while I'm videoing. So I do apologize about that. But as I was saying, I, if you follow me on my socials, Instagram and Facebook, at PK Garden Service, 
I did have some stories up, some videos up on my stories uh, about a week or two ago. Just having a bit of a rant really uh, about these machines that with uh, this machine itself with the three speed gearbox that in first gear which is down there I won't move it now the machine's not operating the engine's not running but what I was saying was when it is in first gear I do find sometimes it is too quick for heavy wet gas now look anyone that knows me knows I would expect a lot of a machine I got a lot of heavy gas silage as we call it here in Ireland um so look what I'm doing at the moment, I'm not taking the full weight of the gas. She's a 21 inch machine, so you might take 15 inches or 13 inches of the gas. Then just enables it to cut and collect it, cut and lift it and throw it into the back of the box in one pass, rather than blowing the gas out the side or the rear and then coming on and collecting and having twice as much work. So as I said, it is a steel deck. Um, it's actually 53 kg is the dry weight of this machine. I think the petrol tank holds about a litre. Uh, I don't have the phone now. It's, it's not much in it. I have to fill it up before I go back out. But um, so that machine has a one litre, about roughly one litre petrol tank. I think it's the 1P70 Lanson engine. So that's a widely used engine, but it's very well respected. Uh, the oil capacity in this machine is 600 millilitres, which is just over half a litre. I actually had an oil change on it there the other day. It only has about an hour's use since, and I had the blade sharpened, which I do very regularly. So I think that's nearly it. We now to join the review to close. Um, if anyone has any questions about the machine, pop them in the comments. I might share the video to my Facebook page and the link on my Instagram page. So you can there, there you can, you can comment if you have any queries. So quite a comfortable machine to use. Look at these heavy. I'm used to these machines by now. Uh, 53 kg is a lot for some people. Um, you say if you're just starting out in garden maintenance, you're just starting out in lawn mowing, lawn maintenance, it is a heavy machine compared to a small domestic mower. It certainly is heavier, a lot heavier. Um, not to sidetrack or anything now, but my red belt drive wheel bang is 49 kg. I do find it ever so slightly easier to maneuver. But look, this is shaft driven. There's a shaft going to the gearbox and it has a blade brake alert system, so that is going to add a few kg. So overall, I'm very happy with the head machine now. Um, I think over, yeah, it's over nine months at this stage. Um, I should actually just mention, I said on my stories today, the machine has just surpassed 70 operating hours. So it's been serviced a couple of times in that I do keep the maintenance on the machines as good. Um, I do keep them maintained as well as possible because they aren't cheap to buy. Uh, and look, real is the cost. You, there's no point buying them, replacing them if there's plenty of life left in them. Um, and how to prolong life on them is look after them, you know. So, just to mention actually, this machine does retail at about €1,150, which to be honest, in my opinion, for a professional, a professional grade contracts more, contractors more, €1,150 isn't overly expensive. It isn't expensive at all, in my opinion. As I keep saying, there, there is very little this machine won't cut. It's not a combine harvester, it's not a walk behind flail or anything. But as I, as I say, as far as walk behinds go, it, um, it has surpassed my expectations and more. Um, the only thing, these letterings, um, the eye did come off, I had to glue it back on. That is a common thing with them. Look, it's not a major issue. They're not show ponies, they're work horses. That's, uh, that's the thing about it. So, as I say, she also has, I'm not sure is it a steel or an aluminium bumper bar on the front just to protect the engine if you drive into an obstacle. Um, the wheels are very grippy. They're good grippy wheels. Um, they're very good grippy wheels, that's all I can say about them. No problem with traction in the wet, like obviously any machine will leave marks in a very wet, soggy, mossy lawn. There's very little you can do about that just other than just staying off the lawn when it's wet. Um, so just to mention as well, there's your air filter in there. I won't go opening it. I do clean it off every so often. Um, so that's your machine. That's your WB537. 
uh, it's um, V3 in one uh, professional grade lawnmower. So I do apologize now if I got mixed up a few times or made any mistakes. I'm just, this is first of this type of video I've made. So there's certainly room for um, room for improvement. And maybe for better equipment, uh, better maybe a tripod and things, which I will get. Um, so yeah, as I say, if anyone has any questions, let me know. And just thinking, hey, there's nothing I've missed. Um, I'd say you've got, a, as I say, you've a central height adjustment. We bang do say it's a seven point, but as far as I can see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's actually a ten point adjustment there. And what I have done on occasion myself is pushed it up to the front where it's even higher. But the only thing that happens is when you put on the grass collector, the weight will drop back down to here. And on occasion, it can drop it down one or two more notches, which can happen when you're cutting and you end up cutting lower than you realize. So, um, so that's 38. Now you draw it to a close. Now you draw the review to a close. Um, if I, as I say, if anyone has any questions, let me know. And overall, I have to say, to be honest, 10 out of 10 for this machine. Price point and everything is excellent. Just a note there with the with the height adjuster um it is hard to do it is hard to do it one-handed compared to the belt drive machine as they said there is a 4 kg difference in those machines we definitely do notice this um like would i rec recommend this machine on very very small estate gardens maybe not it's a little bit overkill for that but wherever you can't have a ride on or you don't need a tractor ride on more this is an absolutely fabulous choice. It's an absolutely fabulous choice and I have I can't fault us. So that's about it. I'll just give you a few more shots of the more if I haven't already. Let me have a look at this. She is dirty if I should have cleaned it for the review, but look, it'll probably be out cutting again tomorrow. Or this week anyway. So there's not much point cleaning if it's only going to get dirty again. Just try to clean them as often as I can as and when they need it. There will always be parts of lawnmowers that are difficult to clean, like any machine, I suppose. It's like a pair of shoes, you won't get an old pair of shoes back to new condition. But it'll certainly be very difficult to do that anyway. So, look, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. Please hit the like button if you like this. Any constructive criticism is more than welcome, more than accepted. And thank you all and have a great day. Thank you.